Hello and welcome to Philly Close Up Live. When stars come to Philly, we get you close up. And today we are here with the lovely, multi-talented comedian, actress, entrepreneur, it goes on and on. Miss Tori Hart is here with us today. Hello. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. How does it feel to be back in Philly? It feels amazing. Yeah? Yeah, it feels real good. That's good. Got a cheesesteak yesterday. Okay, where'd you go? I went to De La Sandro's. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I used to go to Max's. That, see, that's my that's my spot. Yeah, that's my spot. But you know, D was like, yes, you know, it might be a super long line <laughs> now that it's uh, popular, yeah. much more popular yeah. now. So I was like, okay, I'll take, I'll go to De La Sandra. <laughs> so I had to sacrifice a little bit, but okay. it was good. We we still got some time. Yeah. We might be able to get you to Max's. Yeah. <laughs> well, one of the things I was excited about um, with talking to you today is because I feel like. People know you or know mm -hmm. your persona, know Tor Tori Hart, but they don't really know you know you. Mm -hmm. um, so kind of take us back to the beginning. You've been doing uh, comedy for a long time. When did that yeah. all start? Well, actually, it started since I came out the womb, oh. actually. Um, <laughs> I got class clown in high school. Okay. And so I've always been a jokester. I used to do a lot of practical jokes on teachers, uh, my family, and um, went to school for it. Okay. Actually, CCP, I was in school for, you know, the arts. Okay. Um, didn't last in that because then I dropped out and ended up moving to LA to pursue a career. Okay. And so um, I've been doing it for a while. Okay. Yeah. So when did it become not just something that you enjoy doing as mm -hmm. a pastime, but something that you really wanted to pursue like fully as a career, doing stand up, going mm -hmm. to these different venues and just rocking out? Well, definitely, I would say once I moved to L.A. Okay. Um, I always did it in school in Philly and in Jersey. I was always in drama club or, you know, doing church plays and stuff like that. But mm -hmm. when I moved to Los Angeles and really got, you know, to see the ins and outs and the workings of everything is like when I really started, like, training and going super hard. Okay. So that would probably be about... 15 years ago. Wow. Yeah, but I also took time off because I got pregnant with my son and my daughter. Mm -hmm. So for about eight years, I did put motherhood first and career on hold. And now that there are ages that I can, you know, be here now and not feel yeah. guilty and bad about it. So I'm like really full steam ahead now. Okay. Yeah. Well, let's talk a little bit about family. Mm -hmm. um, what is it like for you at this stage in your career? You were married to Kevin Hart. Mm -hmm. You guys are no longer married. You have children that are older now, you said. Um, what is it like for you just kind of balancing all of that, the world of motherhood and mm -hmm. the world of being able to fully pursue your career and the things that make you happy? Well, it's actually good. I love it because the kids, they motivate me. You know, and then when, um, you know, I have him th four days a week and then he has him three days a week. So it's like the three days that he has them, I'm able to balance everything for myself. Okay. So when I have them with me, you know, while they're in school, I get a lot of work done. Um, and then, you know, pick them up, take them to school. But when they're with him, then I really focus, focus, focus on my work. Okay. So it's a great balance. It works for me. Um, recently, there's been a lot in the media about co-parenting. Mashonda mm -hmm. uh, Swiss yeah. Beats and Alicia Keys, uh, mm -hmm. Mashonda just released her book. Everybody's talking about co-parenting and what that's like. Yeah. Um, can you talk about what that's like for you and Kevin, just kind yeah. of being in different households and being able to merge your lives together mm -hmm. for the sake of the children? Well, for me, the kids always come first. Mm -hmm. So that's my number one priority. So I just always want them to see happiness. And I never, even if me and, you know, Kevin are having a bad day, because it's not always perfect. Right. You know, there's ups and downs. Like, any relationship is always ups and downs. Yeah. Um, but the good thing is, is we both always come together for the kids and keep it in a positive space for the kids. So, yeah. it's, it's pretty, we, we co-parent pretty well. Okay. Yeah. That's not the case for a lot of people, so <laughs> maybe. Well, you, you both have to be in that mind frame of, you know, it's not about us. And when you take your mm -hmm. egos out of it and know it's not about you, it's about the kids, because they don't deserve that. Like, right. they didn't ask to be involved in that. And I, my parents are still married, mm -hmm. so I never experienced it, you know. Mm -hmm. So it's not their, you know, it's not the kids' fault. So only thing I can do is just make sure they always see a positive image of me and their dad. Okay. Yeah. Um, You've done so much in terms of like various things in, in the industry mm -hmm. uh, as far as your career goes. Uh, can you talk a little bit about your stint in reality TV when you did the, was uh, it Atlanta <laughs> Exes? <laughs> I miss reality TV. Really? I do. It was fun. Okay. It's fun being messy. Because uh, <laughs> that's one of the things that everybody talks about I mean, with reality it's, TV. It's yeah, messy. You, it's entertainment. Okay. So if you get into reality TV 
and you're like, ha, no, I have to uphold this image, and you're not going to last long without yeah. TV. I mean, it's entertainment, you know? So I did have fun being a little <laughs> messy. It was fun. Okay. Yeah, it's my alter ego. <laughs> So what was what would you say was like the highlight of that whole experience for you? Honestly, um, me and all the girls are still friends to this day. So I got to meet another group of women that you know have similar things that I'm you know similar lifestyles pretty much. So we were able to talk about a lot of things, okay. help each other with different things, you know. And me and Tamika, even though on the show we were you know always at each other's throat, but now. Our relationship, we're the closest. Okay. I, mean, I see her the most, and I hang out with her the most. Okay. So yeah. Yeah, I did a little stint in reality TV on the production okay. side before, uh, and I was uh, just like, "Ooh, this is a lot." You know, were you producing? <laughs> yes. So you know you gotta be like. Yes, it was like, very like. Yeah, but I felt like fun? an evil villain. No. It's fun being a villain. No, it was not fun. <laughs> <laughs> it was the opposite of fun. I'm like, "Ooh, this is a great no. year. Y'all stressing me out." <laughs> see, I'm actually producing a reality show right now. And okay. I have to sit in that chair, so I'm on the other side of it now. Yeah. And so I'm talking to them, and I'm like, "So tell me why you don't like." This <laughs> And you know, Make it juicy. Yeah, you know, so I'm like, really? Is that is that all? No, I need I need more. Okay. You know, so I'm actually enjoying the producing part. It's fun. Okay. Well, what, yeah. what's the show that you're producing now? What are you working on? Uh, well, it's called Studs of L.A. Studs of L.A.? Yeah. Okay, do tell. So it's a new show that's actually, it's coming out. Okay. Um, and it's a show, you know, into the LGBT community, okay. into that world, yeah. What made so, you want to delve into that um, topic or that community? What made you want to kind of shine light on it in a different way? Oh. Well, one of my closest friends is a lesbian, okay. and um, she's more like a sister, though. Actually, she, mm. I've you know been in my life for so long, so she's more like a sister now. She's also my kid's tutor, Aww. and you know, so just seeing what she's been through and gone through in life and everything, like uh, it's very interesting. It's an interesting community, and I'm actually a part of it too because I'm hosting um, Pride, an event at Pride in Vegas nice. next week. So, like it's. Part of my life. Okay. Yeah. And it's just exploring different relationships that are. Mm hmm. Exploring relationships, getting, you know, to see exactly the ins and outs of that world. And it's, it's, it's juicy. Okay. It's, yeah. It's, <laughs> you're going to like it. Okay. I'm like, do we have a release date or are you guys yeah, still in, in production? Yet, but yeah. You guys are still in production. Yeah. Or are you shooting out in LA? In LA. Okay. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yep. <laughs> All right, I'm like adding things to, to the yeah. calendar that I can look forward to for seeing from you. No, it's juicy. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm that producer like, mm, tell me more. Tori. Yeah. <laughs> it's good TV, right? Okay, well, you yeah, you do want to be entertained. That That's okay. very true. If you don't want to be entertained and you just want the kumbaya circle, you can go to the own. Okay. And, you know, okay. but if you want real grit, you got you to gotta be that producer. Okay. Yeah. Well, let's talk about some other juicy stuff. There's been some okay. rumors floating about your love life. Oh. Um, so feel okay. free to share. What are you single? Oh, are you know. dating? You, what's the rumors? Well, tell, I, tell me. There were several. There were rumors that you were dating another comedian, um, Michael Blackston. I heard that <laughs> one because you guys were doing uh, the the, we the were tour. Working. You were yeah. working we were together, working. and you're both from Philly. And yeah. I'm like, people are so messy. But yeah, that was you one of the Can't even work with somebody now without Well, being... if you take a picture with someone, you're dating them, obviously. Yeah, yeah, no, so. not, not at all. <laughs> okay. No. <laughs> no. Strictly business. All right. Yes. Well, I'm glad we cleared the air on his, that his one. His ex-girlfriend is actually like a sister to me. Okay. Yeah. Are you dating anyone right now? I'm actually celibate right now. Okay. Mm -hmm. High five. Yeah, for three weeks. Okay. <laughs> Maybe we can make it to four. I'm gonna make it to four. <laughs> <laughs> Clear month. Yeah, but no, I'm you know I'm just doing me. I can dig it. Mm -hmm. I can dig it. So one of the other things in in doing you, you're an mm -hmm. entrepreneur. Can you talk about what inspired you to do a hair care line? Actually, my daughter. Wow. So it's named after her. Um, you know, I'm gifting it to her when she turns 18. Okay. So you know, I was in yoga. I, I do a lot of yoga and meditating, and mm -hmm. it came to me in yoga. Oh. And so, you know, I ran with it. I actually, uh, this company wanted to work with me. And I said, well, 
you know, unfortunately right now I'm not doing any brand ambassador work anymore. I said, mm. but if you'd like to partner up with me to do my hair care line, I'm open to that. And they were open to it. And then the next thing you know, within like three to four months, I had my whole line out. Everything was done. That's so fast. Yeah. Like we don't usually see turnarounds that quickly for... It, yeah, we were working nonstop. So wow. it's on Amazon right now. Um, it's in stores in Philly, Jersey. Okay. New York, Atlanta. Well, tell us yeah. the name just so the folks out there okay, know so it. Okay, so the name of it is Heavenly Heart Hair. Heavenly Heart Hair. And you can see that heavenlyhearthair.com and also Amazon. Okay. Yeah. And what is what is the hair care line? Is it for women that have natural hair? Um, it's for does all it work hair for types. weaves? Do it, like yeah. okay, all hair types. The the product itself is natural, okay. but it works for all hair types. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. So. Another thing I can add to my list with you. So what are you looking forward to the most in terms of like this next stage of your career? What are some of the avenues that you haven't explored? I mean, you've done a lot, but what yeah. are some of the things that you're really looking forward to doing? Are you looking forward to getting into more acting roles and mm -hmm. films or Well, Tell I actually, the, the most important thing I'm super, super excited about, honestly, is just the show on the 21st at okay. the 2300 Arena with me and Michael, yes. who I'm not dating. Who she's not dating. Just working. So y'all have to come out and see that on the 21st. Um, also, of course, with the acting, like I've, a lot of people don't know, I've done several films. Yeah. So I have a film out on Amazon right now. Um, Amazon Prime is called Resolution Song, and it's also available on VOD On Demand. Okay. What is Resolution yeah. Song about? Resolution Song is about a mother. I play a mom who loses her son to a tragedy. Wow. So it's about the family, and it's you know it's about the family breaking down and then rebuilding back up and trusting in God. It's a um, faith-based film. Okay. You know, so it's 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 tr you know tr very traumatic, but it's a good message with it. Okay. Yeah, and it's me, Ella Joyce. I don't know if you're familiar with Ella Joyce, but mm -hmm. she's a phenomenal actress. Um, and yeah. Okay. So you said a lot of people don't know that you've done a lot of acting or no, done, done films? No, you because know, I, I do a lot of indie films. Okay. You know, I'm like the indie queen. I, I got <laughs> probably like 15 independent films under my belt. Um, and so they, they don't really realize that I, I've been doing a lot of acting in L.A. You know, it's independent um, circuit is huge. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I've been doing a lot of independent films. And also I was on a TV show called Parental Discretion on Nickelodeon. Ah. So, yeah, I got it in on the child network. Too. <laughs> <laughs> That's dope. Yeah. Okay. So as far as your, um, your being a comedian, like mm -hmm. every comedian has a process that they go through. And you have these shows that are coming up. So kind of what is... Like walk me through right okay. before you go onto stage. Like what is that like for you? What do you go through? What's your like ritual, so to speak? I don't really have a ritual. Um, I'm always nervous. Wow. But yeah, always. <laughs> I mean, before every show. You yeah. Know, it, it never. Those nerves never go away. And then once I'm up there, I'm okay. But um, I would just have to say preparing. I I do my routine in the mirror. You know. But you never know what you're going to get when it's a live show. Something could throw you off. So your routine you know, could switch up. Right. But it's really just about knowing the material. So okay. as long as I know the material and feel confident with everything that I'm going to do, I have a set list in my mind, mm -hmm. but it doesn't always go out that way. So how yeah. do you how do you decide what you're going to talk about as far as material goes? Because, mm -hmm. um, you know, a lot of comedians, actors, actresses, like anyone that's in the entertainment business for mm -hmm. the most part, they use their own, you know, their yeah. own life, their own experiences as, as mm -hmm. kind of like the foundation of what they do. Do you kind of look to your own personal experiences? Yeah. And <laughs> So what is it like if, you, if you're if you using things that have happened to you or that you're currently going through? Like, mm -hmm. what is it like kind of poking fun at yourself, so to speak? You know, I don't care. I've, like I, I mean, I could care less. So I'll poke fun at myself all the time. Okay. Yeah, so, I mean, there's, right now I'm talking about my dating life and my routine. And, you know, I'm talking about how my ex is everywhere. It's like I can't escape him. So <laughs> even when I'm on a date, I see him. I'm like, oh, God. So, you know, that's that's my dating life. So mm -hmm. if you date me, you're going to be on a date with me somewhere and my ex is going to pop up. It just, <laughs> that's my life. So I talk about that. I talk about, you know, having, I'm raising two little rich white kids, as I say. <laughs> you know, I, I didn't expect to be raising kids that had more money in the bank than me. So, you know, that's, that's my life. I, I'm poke fun at that, how I tell the kids they need to pay bills because, you know, I'm <laughs> dipping to the trust fund. Well, my parents, you know, I, you know, I think my parents told me that too. And yeah. there was no trust fund. Oh. It was just like, <laughs> oh, that mouth of yours, you need to start paying some bills. Yeah. Well, they're pretty good kids. They don't, you know, they're, they're very humble. Yeah. But I joke with them all the time, like, who's paying the gas bill this month? Because y'all got it. 
All right. Nice. So, yeah, that's some of the things I talk about in my routine. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you said you have some shows coming up, so can you tell me a little bit more about those? Yes. Because you have several, several right? Several, yeah. So, um, October 21st, I'm at the 2300 Arena. And I think the guy that you're working with on some of those shows oh, yeah. is here, so we're going to bring him on. D. Yes. Hello. How y'all doing? <laughs> Who's rocking the ridiculously yes. funny yeah, shirt over funny. here. <laughs> Yeah. How y'all doing? Good. Good, good. So good. what are you guys working on together? I met Dee a few years ago. Yeah. Um, he was uh, starting his boxing gym, mm -hmm. and I went down there and talked to him about that and fitness, and I told him I was going to come in for a class, which I still haven't done. Mm -hmm. But um, <laughs> so tomorrow, to the bounce class. Oh, what time is that? It's at 10 p.m. Okay. Mm -hmm. At the Art Museum. Okay. I might be <laughs> setting myself up because now we're on camera, and I'm that. like, okay. <laughs> See, because people think I work out, but I don't. It's like it's all <laughs> it's an illusion. Yeah. yeah, and so I'm terrified that my lungs are going to explode. But I digress. Well, you have to come and try. <laughs> 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 Tell me what you guys are working on. Yeah, um, October 21st, we're going to um, we're, we're doing the, uh, the Beauty and the Beast comedy show at 2300 Arena. We got Michael Blackson, we got Tori Hart, we got uh, Ken Jones, we got got a whole host of people. It's going to be an amazing show. Um, and we're looking forward to that. Okay. Mm -hmm. so. And how did you guys uh, partner together to work on some of these uh, upcoming shows or the show on the 21st? Well, we actually met at the boxing gym. Yeah, yeah my, one of my best friends uh, introduced us. She was training with him, and she's like, come work out, come work out. And I was like, okay, cool. So I was in town visiting, and I actually did a seven-day challenge with Dee. And you yeah, killed it. we yeah, you killed and we you're how many inches did I lose in seven days? Because you worked me? Mm, like five. Wow. wow. In seven days? In seven seven days, day, but he was, That's listen, insane. He Every was day working hard. me out. Every I still day. got the footage of it. Yeah. <laughs> so it that a, must yeah. be good inspiration for, you know, for yeah, a rough no, day. No, he's, he's dope. Yeah. I've heard that. Mm -hmm. I am going to get the courage to come. I am. I am. I am. <laughs> <laughs> so that's happening on October 21st. Um, you guys mm -hmm. also have an event that's happening tomorrow, mm -hmm. right, at the, at the art, art museum, museum on yeah. the steps. So tell me about that. We're having a bounce class. Um, it's a bounce fitness class where we use Kango jump boots and we do a fitness routine with that. So okay. we're bringing our instructor in from Jersey. Tori's going to host it. We're going to kill it again at the art museum mm -hmm. at 10 o'clock at night. Come on down. The link The link will be up. Yeah. Um, make sure you get that and yeah, come on through. Awesome. And the event that you're doing um, at the at 2300 Arena, mm -hmm. is this your first time doing stand-up in Philadelphia? It is. How did it, yes. how did it take so long for us to get you back in Philadelphia? You know it's so crazy. I didn't been in Baltimore, I'd have been in D.C., Cleveland, you know, uh, everywhere. I don't know. Well, he bought me. And that's so. why this show is wow. so yes. important. That's, Thank that's you. That's another yeah. reason why this show is important. It's the first time that Tori and Mike will be performing in Philadelphia. Wow. Yeah. So. That's, so that's this is, amazing. This is a debut here. So. This is a debut. So everybody out there, make sure that you come. Give them the information one more time so that they don't forget. The 2300 Arena, October 21st. Get your tickets now because they're selling fast. You can also follow us at Ridiculously Funny One. You can also get your tickets there as well. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Or my Instagram, T O R R E I H A R T. The link's in my bio. Awesome. Well, guys, thank you so much for coming down here yeah. today and joining us. Thanks for having me. I'm going to get my courage up. Hopefully, I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow. But if not, I will be at the show because I wouldn't miss it. Okay. You're doing amazing things. Thank you. Dave, good to see you again. Yeah, you too as well. <laughs> you going to hold me to it. <laughs> All right, wait till we she finish. I don't want to be in trouble on camera. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you again so much for joining us, guys. But that's all the time we have on My New Philly, where something is always new and everything is always Philly. We'll see you next time.